Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and today is Halloween. It is Halloween, I'm so excited. I've been saying, if you've been watching my vlogs, that I'm excited for this Halloween, especially because it's my first Halloween in a house. It's really Zaya's first Halloween when she fully understands what's going on. She told me what she wanted to be for her costume. She is gonna go trick or treating for the first time today. First time decorating a house, first time handing out candy to trick or treaters myself. Obviously it's not our first Halloween ever, but it's like our first like real legit Halloween in the house. So clearly I'm looking a little rough right now. I am wigless. I am about to actually start getting ready into my costume. So Zaya and I are both going to be witches. That's what she picked out. She told me, you know, months ago that she wanted to be a witch for Halloween. Um, so I made her a DIY, like pretty kind of like pretty sparkly glam purple themed witch costume. So I recorded a little bit of footage of me making her costume. I was going to post a DIY tutorial on IGTV for Instagram, but I just honestly didn't really like the way that the footage came out and I never ended up editing it or posting it on Instagram in time for anybody to actually use it for Halloween. But I wanted to insert some of the footage here just to give you guys like a little basic idea of what I did for her costume. It was actually really simple. I basically just started off with a lot of plain things things like a really cheap plain hat, a plain t-shirt from Walmart, a little plain broom that I found that was actually like a Halloween decoration and just added like ribbon and glitter and rhinestones and sparkles to it just to like glam it up a little bit and then I ended up making her a tutu out of these strips of tulle. You can buy tulle on a roll and then I just cut it into strips, a bunch of different shades of purple and basically you kind of just knot the tulle around a strip of elastic of course you measure the elastic to fit the waist of whoever's going to be wearing it and then I was using this jug to kind of hold it which helped a lot and you basically just kind of loop it through a million times until you get a nice fluffy tutu and you'll see later on in the vlog that I actually end up taking some LED lights and stringing those through the tutu to make a light up effect which actually turned out really cool and then I am going to match with her and I'm also going to be a black and purple witch so I wanted to do like a full out makeup look I'm gonna be wearing a purple wig the hat the dress the tights the boots the whole thing Zaya is actually upstairs taking her afternoon nap right now since today is a Thursday she didn't have school so it actually worked out perfectly that she's able to just take her nap while I get ready and then when she wakes up it'll be like the perfect time to get her ready to go trick-or-treating. So you guys have already seen in my other vlogs that I have started to decorate my front entryway, my front door area. We made these little bats that I put on the door and then I've actually got a lot of stuff piled up right here that I still need to like set up. So obviously we've got all the Halloween candy that I went and bought from Walmart. I also bought some Halloween pretzels just to mix in with the candy. And I showed you guys before that besides candy, I also bought some actual like goodies, like little toys and glow sticks and things like that. And then since we're going to be witches, I bought this big witch's cauldron to put all the candy and goodies in there so that, you know, I'm gonna be dressed up as a witch and I'm gonna be holding my witch's cauldron, handing out the candy to the trick-or-treaters. And at the last minute, I actually found this mini one for Zaya to actually use when she goes trick-or-treating. She already had the purple pumpkin thing, which is cute, but this just really matches her costume. Like, obviously, she's a witch, so it makes sense. <laughs>
And then so far for my front entryway, I put a chain on my gate to kind of make it look locked up. I added some bats onto the gate. I've also added these lights that are actually sound activated. So if you make a loud noise, like if you open the door or open the gate, or if you say trick or treat super loud, I'm talking kind of quiet right now because I don't want to activate them. But if you say trick or treat, they go off. So I'll show you. Trick or treat! <laughs> So those, you can't, obviously it's daytime so you can't see, but they like flicker on and off and they make that scary like electrocuting noise. I couldn't end up finding like the sticks that I wanted to put in this little basket, but this is our jack-o-lantern that we made in our last video. Mr. Bones is getting ready to greet all the trick-or-treaters. I think I might dress him up or put a hat on him or put something on him and pose him so that that's like the first thing you see. Um, we've got our spider webs, which have kind of gotten beat up by the wind and the rain uh, because it is open above here. So they were kind of getting blown around. And I don't know, but I mean, it just looks even more spooky. It's supposed to be messed up and messy. It's a spider web. Um, so it's got these smaller spiders. I added these bigger spiders on there too on both sides. And then these lanterns that I had from my housewarming party, I'm actually going to put some little strobe lights in there so that'll create like a spooky effect when it gets dark out here and then of course we've got just the same pumpkins that I originally showed you guys from that other vlog I also have this projector thing which makes these little ghost shapes and I'm going to put this up to where it shines onto my garage door so it's like that. I'm gonna put that out there tonight. I also had the fog machine that I showed you guys in my previous vlog, which is gonna create fog going out into the entryway. So I'm gonna set that up later. Um, and then these are the strobe lights that I'm gonna put inside the lanterns to make a spooky effect. Okay, so while Zaya is taking her nap, I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to go ahead and do my Halloween makeup and get that out of the way first. Basically, I'm just gonna be making this up as I go along, but I'm gonna be going for like a super glam, over the top, purple, black, maybe a little bit of green, witchy, like glamorous witch type of look. So is done I went all out added a little hint of green on the inner corner put these huge fluffy lashes on 
scary contour, green highlight, purple lips, a little bit of glitter on the brows. <laughs> now I am going to go and put this wig on. It's got like a purple ombre to it. So I'm gonna put this on and then I'm going to get dressed and then I'm going to wake up Zaya and start getting her dressed. It's coming together. I am actually super happy with how this look is turning out. I think my makeup came out pretty good. The hair is matching the vibe perfectly. I just left it like super messy and I'm just trying to make it look, you know, witchy. So I'm just scrunching it up. And then I had this choker that, um, Icing had sent to me a couple years back when I was doing some Halloween content for them that I never used and it has like these matching Earrings which are just perfect for this. It has like a little gem right here and the earrings have skulls on it So that just like really set off the look I put on this black dress that I already had It's just like a little short black dress, but the sleeves kind of have like this almost like a bat wing little mini bat wing moment, which is like super witchy and perfect. This is just a regular dress that I already had that I've worn several times, but when you add it with this outfit, it looks like a witch's dress. And then I put black leggings on underneath of these tights because it's super cold outside, so I'm just trying to like layer up. But I got these purple striped tights from Party City, and Zaya has the same exact tights, so we're gonna be matching. And yeah, I just gotta put my hat on and my boots on and I think I will be done. So now I'm about to go wake up Zaya from her nap and get her dressed. Happy Halloween! Sleepy head. Do I look scary? Yeah. You ready to put your costume on? Do I look scary or pretty? Scary. Scary. What do I look like? A witch. A witch. I just need my hat and then I'll look really witchy. And you're about to turn into a witch too. And witches turn somebody into a frog. You're going to turn somebody into a frog? Oh, witches. You gonna turn Grammy into a frog? We should have told Grammy to dress up as a frog or a cat or something. Cats are not scary. Cats are not scary. Let's go put your costume on. Got the fog machine going. Just fogging up the house for no reason. <laughs> We're supposed to blow it, blow it out. Point it outside or something. We don't need to fog up the whole house yet. Lord, but it works. It works. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, that's it. That's it. Alright. It works. Okay, well, we know it works. Oh gosh, it's foggy in here. Is it gonna does it bother the smoke alarms? Probably not, because it's not smoke. Ooh, spooky little witch. So she has black tights on, then the striped tights on top, purple shirt with the black shirt that I decorated on top, and then the tutu that I made, and I strung these little purple LED string lights. It's connected to a battery pack that I tucked into her waistband back here. And then I strung the lights all through her tutu. So her tutu lights up and it worked out really good. I wasn't sure how that was gonna look or work. So they're just like super lightweight little lights on a little wire. So they don't like weigh her down or anything. And I just like looped them through the skirt. And then we have a little shirt that I decorated and her hat that I decorated. Glued a bunch of stuff to it. So now I have to figure out what I want to do with her hair. Then she needs her boots on, maybe some makeup on. Uh, we need purple eyelashes. Purple eyelashes? Purple eyeshadow? And what about some purple lipstick? And I live. 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 I
Okay, there's the hairstyle done. The ripple hairspray didn't show up as much as I would have liked. But I added little ribbons that match the ribbons that are on her shirt. Let me see. Don't spray that. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see your hair. Ooh, pretty. It's about to get dark in a few minutes. Is that your whole costume? No. I mean, I have a hat and boots. Oh. I don't have a light up tutu like she does. I didn't have time to make myself one. Uh. Where's your costume? It's critical. <laughs> you look so cute. You ready to go trick or treating? Awesome. Here's our final look. Let me see your face, Aya. You got your broom in your face. Let me see. Pretty, pretty. Oh, purple lipstick. It looks good. Wow, is that pretty? Look how you look. Pretty. Okay, you ready to go trick or treating? Come on. Come on. You turned it off, so it's not going to say anything. Look at your face. Hi. You guys are our first ever trick or treat. Oh, wow. She's doing great. Your costume is beautiful. Say thank you. What do you say? Say it loud. Trick or treat. Happy Halloween. Would you like some candy? Here, I'll hold your broom. Go you pick can get one. A big one, or you can get two little ones. What do you pick? Put your bucket. Mm -hmm. One oh big gosh. one? Yum. Say Does thank anybody you. Anybody else need one, do you think? Yeah, do you want to get them one? That's okay. No. I'm good. No. Oh, okay. You they were kidding like, when they said Jello yeah. shots. Huh? <laughs> yeah, sure. I sure would. Thank you. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> Come back if you want more. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. You Happy did such Halloween. a good job. Have fun. <laughs> okay, so Zaya did her first house, first ever trick or treat. She did a good job. There's not that many houses over here on this street that are actually like participating. Um, so we're just, it's cold. So we're driving over to another street that hopefully have more <laughs> houses that she can go to.
Okay, so my hat won't stay on. I'm holding Zaya's broom. I look like I'm trying to trick or treat out here. I'm, I'm just the, the, the mom who does too much. But Zaya's doing a good job. She's saying trick or treat very quietly <laughs> when she gets up to the houses, but she is saying it. Uh, so that's a start. I'm a nice witch, I promise. She's a nice witch like you. She's got purple like you. Would you like some trick candy? Say trick or treat. <laughs> <laughs> Have the same ghost we gonna have. Uh oh. What is it? You see something scary? It's not real. What is it? A wolf. A wolf? Oh no, a three headed wolf. They got candy though. Can you run up there and grab the candy? No? I'll go with you. Come on. I'll block the wolf. I'll block them. They got candy in this book. Oh, no. All the candy is gone. Trick or treat. Bye. Trick or treat. All the decorations. Me too. What does a witch say? What does she say? <laughs> Where's your broom? Go get your broom on the stairs. Okay, so we are home from trick-or-treating. We had some dinner. We had a little photo shoot on the staircase to just get some final photos of our look. Wanted to make sure we got some good photos. Zaya, what did you think about trick-or-treating? Was that fun? Yeah. Did you get a lot of candy? Yeah, and look at my tail. Tail? Yeah, this is my tail. <laughs> what was your favorite part about today? I like to, my favorite part is about trick-or-treating. Trick or treating? Yes. And did everybody love your costume? Mm hmm. And I get some candy from the from the people. You did? Yeah. And some people said hi to me. They did? Was it so much fun? Yeah. Are you ooh, are you gonna do it again next year? Yeah. Hmm? 
Yes. Ooh, she's so rich. Let me see. The rich witch. Wow, you have witch fingers and jewelry? That's the good part about trick-or-treating is that you get all the leftovers. Okay, this one goes on this finger. She's gonna be the richest witch around. Wow. I love these jewels. Who's gonna eat all this candy that we have left over? Me. <laughs> you? You gonna eat all that candy? You gonna get a tummy ache? No. You are, and you are, and, and I am. Can I have the chocolate? Yes. Thank you. Now put the um eminence. Okay. Those are Skittles. It's eminence. Those are Skittles. But they're eminence. Okay. We have to take your costume off. Or you just want to wear that forever? Guess what we gotta get ready for? What comes after Halloween? Christmas? Yay! Zaya's first time trick-or-treating was a success, I'll say. I think our costumes turned out pretty good. You guys can comment down below and let me know what you think of our costumes and everything. Zaya did a good job saying trick-or-treat and not being too scared or too shy. And yeah, it was a fun, fun day, I think. First Halloween really decorating, first Halloween a new house, first Halloween trick or treating, first Halloween all these things. I think it turned out pretty good. It definitely was a lot going on. Next year I'm gonna have to start getting ready even earlier to make sure that we're out there early trick or treating and have time to take pictures of our costume and all that stuff. So I'll keep that in mind for next year. But all in all, it was a good day. Zaya had fun, we got tons of candy, so that's all that matters. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Happy Halloween! Halloween is over. Now you look like a rock star. Are you a rock star? What does a rock star do?